You can see the age difference. You can see how young Pedro Carvalho actually is. And that reach advantage he has, Sam Sir being a stand-up guy, needs to move his feet to get inside. Cavallo, the youngest of the main card fighters here tonight. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. From SAP Center, Bellator MMA now features the second fight in the opening round of the Featherweight World Grand Prix. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds live on the zone. We introduce the blue corner. At 5 foot 11, weighing in 144.1 pounds, his professional record 10 victories, three defeats, hailing from Guimarães, Portugal. He hails and fights out of Dublin, Ireland. Pedro Cavalho! Let's go! And across the cage is adversary, fighting out of the red corner. At 5 foot 8, weighing in 145 pounds, even as a professional 17 wins nine losses fighting out of spokane washington introducing sam cecilia in charge of the action referee josh rosenthal josh rosenthal has been assigned the task of this featherweight world grand prix matchup who will join emmanuel sanchez in the quarterfinals Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! A classic matchup between an experienced veteran in Sam Sicilia in the red gloves and an up-and-comer in 24-year-old Pedro Caballo in the blue gloves and Sicilia immediately goes on the attack. Goes on the attack, but you saw the defense of Pedro Caballo. Defends that kick as Sicilia gave up his, his balance, but back up on his feet. Walking down, Caballo, Caballo bouncing up and down on his feet, lands the body. Southpaw stands for Caballo, kicking at the lead leg of Cecilia, lands the body kick, and there, tags Cecilia with the left hand, but Cecilia ate it. And look at how well the in and out goes in, scores, comes out. And Caballo looking for the guillotine slipped, and now it's Cecilia ground and bound. Get the right hand down there. Cross face by Cecilia, who has four submission victories, but has not won a fight by submission since August of 2011. Just a little bit of time. Yeah, and, and look at that's the Sam that we know. He likes to be the guy with heavy hands and knock you out. Meanwhile, Caballo, half of his 10 wins have come via submission. He has a slick submission game. Sam has to be careful with his position. He's posturing well. Don't let him swing those hips around towards that cage. Cavallo said he hasn't given us commentators much time to talk during his last two fights, but he, he doesn't want to give us much time. He's always in a rush. Hey, we're not paid by the word the last time I checked. Thanks, so. Minute and a half gone, but it's Cecilia now. Nice to see Sam on his back. His time. Just relax, utilize that position, and just make him carry your weight at work. You see him with that beautiful. Half Nelson holding on with that gable grip. Cavallo has lost via rear naked choke. That was before aligning himself with SBG. Ireland, where he, as we mentioned, undefeated. Of course, that's also the home of one Conor McGregor. Less than three minutes left. Dylan Dennis. Anybody else we got to mention? James Gallagher. Oh, so many. Peter Quilly, all of them. James Gallagher, BDK. Well, what about Sam Cecilia's gym? He's, he's building a gym he is building in the Pacific gym. Northwest. Of course, trains with Michael Chiesa coming off a huge win. In the octagon against Diego Sanchez and Cecilia feeding Caballo with some uppercuts with the right hand. Smart move going to the body with that right hand. Another right hand on top by Cecilia. There's a lead right from Caballo. Body kick, and here we go. There's Cecilia utilizing that wrestling background. Has led his high school. The high school he went to, he's a coach there now. They've won two uh, state championships. That's outstanding. Gives his time for that school so they can have a great player. That body kick that Carvalho hit him with, though, that had some power on it. He felt it. Under two minutes remaining in the opening round. Carvalho, busy on the bottom, sharpening his hip, trying to create space. Cecilia takes the back, looking for that rim. They can choke. Minute 45. Left in the round, and Caballo very cool, very relaxed. But has tasted defeat via the rear naked choke in his career. And again, Cecilia, very 
good job by Cecilia grabbing the arm and let go of it. Cavallo. And now Cavallo looks to grind away on Cecilia, those short elbows. Cecilia controlling the posture of Cavallo, but Cavallo digging away to the body. Half guard. Cavallo loves this guillotine choke right here. Sam needs to be very careful about not letting that hand get inside. Cavallo yet to record a guillotine choke victory, but looking for it right here. We got problems with these. Starts to become a neck crank. If he can get that pressure on his legs. Left in the opening round. Cecilia. Trying to also stay calm, trying to create separation. And now, Cecilia trying to defend the submission attempt by Cavallo. And is successful in doing so. No self position now, but Cavallo again. Fishing for the neck. Cavallo switching. Going to an Anaconda right now. He's got a head and arm. Going towards that side. Has the hook in, has Cecilia's back against the fence. Sam needs to just take his time. And he nice move. To That's Yard with the back of time to his left. Cecilia and Cavallo on your unofficial scorecard. Unofficially, I have Cavallo winning that round, and the reason why is he landed the better shots. The grappling was close, but you've got to make sure that if you're Sam Cecilia, when you get on top, you've got to do some type of damage. Cavallo is the one that is creating the space. He's the one controlling the position on the ground, even though Sam is on top. Carvalho right here is going for a neck crank. He gets his arm inside. If he can get his legs where he can hook, it'll create a pressure on Cecilia's neck. But Cecilia was smart. He comes around. He goes for that rear naked choke. You see Carvalho very calmly just grabbing the wrist, controlling that arm. He knows he's safe. Bell in round two of this opening round matchup in the Featherweight World Grand Prix. Sam Cecilia in the red gloves. Pedro yeah. Cavallo in the blue gloves, which knee there by Cavallo. Short left behind the guard and the left body kick by Cavallo. Starting aggressively here in the second round. Cecilia, who told us his greatest strengths and attributes, including his conditioning, the fact that he has a big gas tank, but it is being taxed and will be taxed by Cavallo in this fight. Both guys are pushing hard, you know, but those body kicks right there, those will punch a giant hole in your gas tank quick. And there's a left hand from Cavallo. Cecilia missing with a spinning back fist punch kick combination by Cavallo, picking off Cecilia with the left. Cecilia trying to navigate this field of striking here. Is and there's a short right uppercut on the inside by Cecilia. Ooh, lead left hand. Cecilia. What you're seeing is Carvalho is starting to dominate the stand-up. His movement is starting to cause Sam problems. And yet Cecilia still landing his shots. Cecilia needs to stop setting his feet. Move. Create your angle. Don't let him dictate where that angle comes from. And Cavallo good with his punch placement, change-up speeds, and then Cecilia landed that right, checking the chin. And Cecilia said there would be a lot of chin checking in this fight, but Cavallo muscling him on the ground. Now Butterfly, oh, get ready to move step to side legs. control, he does. Got the and now it's Caballo attacking the back of Cecilia. This is the norm that happens with Sam. He makes big movements to get himself up onto his feet, and he creates a situation where now you got Carvalho with his back. Caballo looking for that rear naked choke, and it is Cecilia has been submitted three times via this form of submission, and, and Caballo looking for the Crank. It is pressure on the face and the jaw. 
Nice to do. Huh? Nice to do. Yeah. You see it from this position. You see that Sam has his arm being controlled. And once he decides to bring that, he starts to crank down. It's a big squeeze. Crank. Palm to palm grip. A lot of pressure on that jaw. Too much for Sam. He has to tap. Oh, I'm so sorry. Extends his win streak to six. More importantly, again, punching his way to the quarterfinals of the Featherweight World Grand Prix, submitting Sam Cecilia. On yours. Impressive outing for Pedro Caballo. Did I mention he's only 24, John? Yes, you did. But you know what? And, 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 well, let's look at it. Sorry, John. Well, you continue to say, you know what? That's a purple belt that he deserves. He might even be, need a proud belt there because that was beautiful submission. Outstanding job. That's clear by enough. Pedro Cavanaugh. And he was just given his purple belt by John Cavanaugh following that submission victory. Look at that kick to the body. Comes back. He is now starting to control position. He's starting to move his feet. He's creating the angles. He's seeing everything that Sam is throwing. And that's why you see Sam going into him, trying to take him down, and just muscles Cecilia over. You see the fake of the hip. Here comes the knee into the body. All of these shots starting to add up and cause Sam Cecilia the problem of, I can't maintain this pace that he's bringing, and these shots are starting to wear him down. Pedro Caballo's mantra, I'm not only the future, I'm the present. Well, he proves that here tonight, vanquishing the vet. Sam Cecilia Caballo moves on to the quarterfinals. Let's. Caballo fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, by way of Portugal. Let's make it official with Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the face crank ends it. The tap officially, one minute, 56 seconds. Round number two, the winner by submission. Now, moving on to the quarterfinal round of the Featherweight World Grand Prix, Pedro Caballo. As a 13-year-old in Portugal, he discovered MMA on TV, thought it would be something he would be good at. Well, he's proving to be just that. Pedro Caballo improving to 11 and 3. Let's go to Big John. I'm here with your winner, the second man to move on in the Featherweight Grand Prix, Pedro Carvalho. That was an incredibly impressive performance. You showed your wrestling, you showed your stand-up, and then you showed your submission game. I mean, this is what I've been saying all this time. I am the best fighter in the world. And the only thing that I only ask was opportunities. Every single time Bellator gave me a chance to fight, I never said no, no matter the amount of time to, to train or the opponent. So now this is the biggest opportunity to me prove that what I've been said is true. I'm not only the future, I'm the present. John, John Kavanaugh, your coach just gave you your purple belt. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. It means a lot. I, I've been asking for the purple belt for quite some time. <laughs> and uh, I, I told him, hey, if I get a submission, if I get my purple belt, he said, I think about it. So I think I did enough today. Well, I think you uh, definitely deserve that. I want to congratulate on a beautiful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Pedro Carvalho. Eu só queria deixar uma mensagem a todos os portugueses que custou, ninguém nos queria deixar entrar, mas agora que nós estamos aqui, ninguém nos tira, só paramos no topo. Portugal's modern day man of war, Pedro Cavallo, advancing to the quarterfinals of the Featherweight World Grand Prix, securing his purple belt in BJJ and uh, indeed continues to impress.